solve this question from the chapter parallel lines. So in the given figure, L is parallel to M is parallel to N. So you can see here that there are three lines, L, M, and N. All the lines are parallel to each other. And P is transversal and Q is also given as transversal. And we have to find the value of X, Y, and Z. Right. And you observe carefully that uh, x, y, and z are part of expression for some of the angles, right? So let us start solving this question. Uh, in the chapter parallel lines, you have studied that uh, when two parallel lines, they are cut by a transversal. So different types of angles are formed and there is a relationship between those angles. So let us uh, start with taking the lines L parallel to M and P is transversal. Right here, observe carefully this uh, Z plus 10 and Y. What types of angles are these? L is parallel to M and P is transversal. So observe Z plus 10 and Y. What types of angles are these? Yes, these are co-interior angles. And you know that co-interior angles, they are supplementary. So co-interior angles are supplementary. So we will be using this uh, fact over here. And we can write one equation as Z plus 10 plus y equals 180. Must write the reason. Co interior angles are supplementary. So supplementary angles, that means their sum is 180 degrees. Right. So let us now try to make another equation. What relationship do you see between this y and 3x minus 60? Yes, they are making a pair of, yes, linear pair. So can you write one equation? Yes, let us write it together. So y plus 3x minus 60 will be equal to 180. The reason being it's making a linear pair of angles right okay now i'm taking your attention to this figure and just observe this angle let me mark this as t do you see some relationship between this marked angle t and 3x minus 60 what types of angles are these yes these are corresponding angles and you know that when two parallel lines they are cut by a transversal then corresponding angles are equal so can i write uh, t is equal to 3x minus 60 yes so the reason is corresponding angles are equal so two parallel lines they are cut by a transversal so they are making corresponding angles and here you are observing that i am taking m is parallel to n and p is transversal right okay so now you tell me what relationship do you see between t and x plus 20 yes they are making a linear pair of angles so t plus x plus 20 will be equal to 180 now what is t t is 3x minus 60. So the equation will be 3x minus 60 plus x plus 20 equals 180. Can you solve this and find the value of x? Yes, here we have to write the reason linear pair. Yes, solve this. So 3x plus x means 4x minus 40 
take minus 40 to the other side, it becomes plus 40. So 180 plus 40 is 220, right? So let us uh, simplify this further. So x will be equal to 220 divided by 4. So 220 divided by 4 gives us 55. So you have got the value of x. What is x? x is 55. Now how you are going to find y? Can you see some uh, relationship between y and x? Yes. In which equation? Yes, here. y plus 3x minus 60 equals 180. So we will be substituting the value of x in the given equation. So we get y plus 3 into 55 minus 60 equals 180. You can simplify this and get the value of y. So what will be y? y will be equal to, yes, tell me what will be y. y will be equal to 180 plus 60 minus, what is 3 into 55? Yes, 3 into 55 is 165. So this is equal to 240 minus 165. So 240 minus 165 is 75. So you have got the value of y. Now how, we, how you are going to find the value of z? Let me take back here. You here. This is z plus 10 plus y equals 180. So we will be putting the value of y to get the value of z. So let us simplify this. We can write it here. z plus n plus y that is 75 equals 180. So z will be equal to 180 minus 75 plus 10 is 85. Transpose it to the other side. So 180 minus 85 and the answer is 95. So you have the values of x, y, and z now. I hope the question is clear to you. It's not so difficult. So basically, you see, when we solve questions related to parallel lines and transversal, we try to apply the properties of angles which are formed by drawing parallel lines and a transversal. I hope it is clear to you. Practice more such questions. All the best.